Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. I love a good roast beef sandwich, and even though they're more like a processed deli lunch meat roast beef sandwich, I'm a sucker for an Arby's roast beef sandwich from time to time. And although Arby's roast beef sandwiches are somewhat tasty from time to time, the reason it tastes like deli lunch meat is because it basically is. Here's what's in Arby's roast beef, Hardy's roast beef, and Roy Rogers roast beef. So out of the three major fast food chains that are selling roast beef sandwiches, it's not roast beef at all. But just like the McRib, it's not a real rib sandwich, it's still pretty tasty. The one thing I don't like about the fast food roast beef sandwiches is, they sell them as a premium sandwich. I normally get the double roast beef sandwich from Arby's and it's $7.19, which to me is pretty pricey for not even a half a pound of lunch meat. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a real roast beef sandwich for a fraction of the cost of a fast food roast beef sandwich. That's right, an Arby's double roast beef sandwich costs $7.19, which is basically lunch meat. And that is simply unacceptable when you're eating on a budget. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make eight real roast beef sandwiches that will feed your family for $2.55 each. So let's get started. So to make a real roast beef sandwich, you need to buy a top, bottom, or eye of round roast. So for today's roast beef sandwich, I used a two and a half pound bottom round roast, which costs $6.49 a pound, which is full price. If you can find it on sale, you can make your roast beef sandwiches even cheaper. So I also paid full price at $4.19 for eight Kaiser rolls. Again, if you can find them on sale, that reduces the cost of your sandwiches. Before you do anything to your bottom round roast, leave it in the packaging and let it sit on the counter for a couple hours until it comes up to room temperature. It's very, very important that it comes up to room temperature or the cooking method we're gonna use today will not work. Once your bottom round roast is up to room temperature, give it a drizzle of cooking oil and then take your hand and massage it in. And then season very generously with salt and pepper. Once your bottom round roast is up to room temperature and seasoned well, place it into a preheated 500 degree oven for five minutes per pound. This is a two and a half pound roast, so that's 12 and a half minutes. After 12 and a half minutes, turn the oven off, but do not open the oven door under any circumstances for one hour. Normally you would let a bigger roast rest for two hours, but with this being such a small roast, one hour was sufficient. After cooking for 12 and a half minutes at 500 degrees and resting for an hour in the oven, our bottom round roast is ready and it's gonna be perfectly done. Just wait and see. Now any cut of round beef is gonna be extremely lean. Now in my opinion, you never ever wanna cook any cut of round beef until well done. That is, unless you'd like chewing on a rubber boot. Now when I cut this open, it's gonna be very rare, which is just the way I personally like it. If you don't like rare beef, what you can do is very, very gently heat up some beef broth and then just for about 30 seconds, put the meat in the beef broth and let it poach. And that should get rid of the rareness without making it tough and chewy. But for me, this is perfectly done. Now when I cut it in half, I cut it with the grain. Now we're gonna lay it down and cut it as thin as you can with a knife across the grain. If you have a slicer, use it. That's the best slicing mechanism you can have for this cut of meat, because you can cut it paper thin. But even using the knife, I did a pretty good job, I think. So now, it's time to make a real roast beef sandwich. I like horseradish sauce in my roast beef sandwiches, but if you don't have horseradish sauce, just use mayonnaise and regular horseradish. 
And then of course some sliced white onion. And then pile on as much or as little roast beef as you like. And there you have it. That's how you make a real roast beef sandwich for a fraction of the cost of a fake roast beef sandwich from Arby's, Hardee's, or Roy Rogers. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you soon.